Proxy logs contain a lot of valuable data which can be used for detecting suspicious activity when threat hunting. The introduction of proxy logs allows organisations to use another angle for investigation. Let's start our investigation as we have some Zscaler proxy data coming into Falcon Log Scale. Now let's run some queries, uh, firstly by looking at the timeline of activities by using this select query. This shows us a lot of detail using the fields we've selected and in this case provides the timeline of activity for events such as the event host name, the URL, the category, the user agent and the status. Now let's run a search to look at the URL categorizations which have been associated with activity within our environment. And here we're using fields such as the host, the device involved, and also the categorization. We can also investigate by looking at our raw data and a particular event where we can use an interaction to investigate a user that will bring up a dashboard showing you anything and everything about the user. This dashboard requires an input, and in this case the username, but it walks through a range of different things. And it shows us how much data we're seeing from the users, if we've seen IOCs, what URL categories they've accessed, what URLs they go to, and are these related to adversary activity resulting in the exfiltration of data and essentially a breach. It also gives you, at a glance, any information about the user, even down to things like the user agent um, we see them using. If we can then go into the Threat Activity Dashboard, let's start by leveraging the power of Falcon Log Scale and search across a whole year's worth of proxy data. From the Threat Activity Dashboard, we can see that it takes fields from the Zscaler logs and applies the CrowdStrike IOCs to them. Below that, we can see that um, we can display the threats that are flagged by the vendor and what threats map to, like the malicious content and phishing in there. Down below we have things like the top threat names, DLP activity, and then below that we have more details around the CrowdStrike IOC hits. So who the user was, where they were going, what IOC IP, uh, and the confidence level. And this is also a place where we can see details about activity of the um, adversary. Now let's go to web activity. And this is more of a view for general proxy information and provides information about how is my proxy doing and what, what's going on with it, so that who the most active users are based on volume, um, so how much traffic are they doing. Uh, we also have details based on actions, so allowed versus blocked, and are some of the allowed or blocked activities happening against URLs being hosted by adversaries. We can see top block categories, top allowed ones, and other details we've taken from the logs themselves, like application names, top protocols that we're seeing. Basically, it's an anything and everything view of everything related to the proxy, and we have some methods to help us investigate any suspicious activity. These dashboards and interactions are part of the Zscaler package for proxy logs, uh, which is available from the LogScale marketplace, and it's it's been deployed in our environment. It also contains a range of assets, which include queries, dashboards and interactions.